Hey, Ava, what's up? Pretty much nothing. Hey, look at this. Read with me, and you will see how wonderful this world could be. To create, escape, explore the way of the never-ending mind-bending issues we debate. So here's the hook. Just grab a book. And we will share a new outlook. Grab a short story, some rules and rhymes. Picture ourselves in far better times. With a cloud of space. Or a magical place. Where we aren't wearing gloves. Or a mask on our face. We could sail to sea. Or, or discover a key. So how about it, friend? Will you read with me? Oh, I'll turn this thing off. Hi, y'all. Uh... Welcome to the call. I know we're missing one, but let's just get started anyways. Great to get to e-meet over this very important topic of reader retention Hello? and- Hello? Uh, uh, yes, Katniss, you there? It, can you hear me? Sorry, bad Wi-Fi here in District 12. Yes, yes we can. So, I think we're all here. As I said, welcome everyone to the third quarterly board meeting of Estes LP. Let's begin by sounding off an attendance. I'll go first. I'm Harry Potter, or the boy who lived and chairman of the board here at SSLP. I'm Katniss Everdeen, you know, the mocking day. Uh, and, sorry, uh, actually, we don't need to state our nicknames. But you just said... I know, I know I said boy who lived. I'm a hypocrite, sue me. But For the sake of time, let's just leave our egos at the door today, okay? Okay, so I'm Katniss Everdeen, and I'm vice chair of SSLP. Thanks, Katniss. Um, I'm Lightning Girl, and I serve as board treasurer and actual human calculator. Hi, I'm Castle, but you can call me Ghost. The senior director of youth engagement is happy to be here. Happy to have you, Ghost. Hi, I'm Steph Soto, director of PR. Hey, Steph. Glad you're on. Hoping that this means that this year we'll stay in the papers for the right reasons. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Harry. I'm sure I've got a few tricks of the tread I can share to make sure that our I know some new tricks. Huh? Sorry, what? Who's that? I think there's someone coming into our call late. Cat, if that's you, make sure to switch your video on. I can hold up a fish and some milk on a dish. Oh, hey, Cat. Glad you could join us. Uh, the cat in the hat is here. Yes, that's me, the cat in the hat. But don't let me sit on your bamboo mat. What's his role on this board? He doesn't really have a role. Well, me. actually, we just added him for comic relief. Also, he has lots of readers. So many readers. We thought that maybe he'd have some good advice. Ah, okay. Makes sense, I guess. So anyways, hi everyone. Thanks for introducing yourselves. Today we're gathered to talk about keeping our reader counts up. And as we all know, these kids are just watching YouTube and staring into their phone screens all day. And as the only non-muggle here, I have to be honest, none of that makes much sense to me. We have to talk strategy to keep these kids reading our books. I know you all have some great ideas and you're all here because your reader counts are high. So Katniss, you want to start us off? Sure, yeah, of course. Uh, so not to shoot my own horn or anything, but as we all know, my reader counts are very high and they've only been climbing. Now, I think that has to do with, well, you know, girl power. Am I right, ladies? Brilliant. Did you guys rehearse that or something? But I think it also has to do with my stories involve solving challenges. I can attest that readers love challenges. It keeps things interesting. Hi, Canis. Big fan of your work. I totally agree, and I just want to piggyback on your own sentiments there about girl power and challenges. In my books, Obviously, it's all about Latino women and their strength and their heritage and overcoming challenges. But also, it's about tacos. Everybody loves them. Can I get a hey yo? Hey yo. Hey yo. What's your name, though? Is it Willie or Davy or Nikki or J Lo? So, anyways, according to my calculations, 95% of people on Earth love tacos. So, you're not wrong. What about the other 5%? Those people can't be trusted. Exactly. We have a whole truck full of tacos. If that doesn't get their readers to engage, I really don't know what will. Great. So, girl power challenges tacos. Thank you both. Do we have any other suggestions? Harry, have you ever thought of casting a spell with a fish in a well, but making it look silly like a hard taco shell? A fish in a well? I'm sorry, Kat, you lost me. Also, 
I read in your books that your broomsticks are wooden. Now, just imagine a broomstick with a cup holder and a place for some pudding. Um, what? Are these actual suggestions or are you just making up poetry? He's making it up. It's just what he does. Ugh, why is he even here? Cat in the Hat is such a troll. Can I just step in here real quick? By all means, ghost. The floor is yours. Okay, well, I just think that the readers need to be leveled with. You know what I'm saying? So many stories are about chosen ones and heroic victors. <laughs> oh, no offense. What I mean is, I think those stories are great, but what about, like, the average kid? Sometimes kids who don't have role models just need a little inspiration. I really just think it's time that we lift up some new voices. Speaking of lifting, have you ever lifted a schnooterlang? It has notes of candy corn, but also of propane. Uh... If you think one smells rich, then here's the sitch. A schnooterlang never tells you if it's singing off pitch. Woo! Oops. Cat, you there? Cat in the hat? Uh, I guess I accidentally hung up on him. At a girl. Well, we're almost out of time here. So any more comments? Questions? I do. Steph, does your family's taco truck deliver on Postmates? Yeah, we do. I'll, I'll give you the text. Okay, me. then. I think we're all getting a little hungry. So with that, this concludes our third quarterly board meeting of SSLP. This one, I got it. Let's try something different. And see what you've got. Let's read something silly. Pretend that it's not. Beware the Jabberwock, my son! The TikTok challenge has just begun. Toys sword in hand. Long time the medsome foe is sought. Then rested he by the tom-tom tree and stood a while in thought. And as an uppish thought he stood, the Jabberwock with eyes of flame came whiffling through the toji wood and burbled as it came. One, two, one, two, and through and through. Vorpal blade went snicker snack. He left it dead, and with his head he went galumphing back. Oh. Here we go. Uh, uh, Jabberwocky challenge. And has a slain the Jabberwock. Come to my arms. Zoom. Hey everyone, you there? 
Okay, so I know we're still getting used to doing our classes over Zoom. First things first, did your group pick a book for your book report? Yes, seeing some nods, okay, great. Pasha, what book did your group pick for your book report? We chose Dreams from Many Rivers by Margarita Engel. This one, Dreams from Many Rivers? Mm -hmm. Good pick, guys. Okay, so Zoe, can you tell me what the book was about? Well, it's a collection of poems about Hispanic history here in the U.S. Okay. Uh, Leo, what are some takeaways that you had from the book? I guess I just like that there are a lot of stories about uh, heritage and... Oh yeah, there's also a few stories about overcoming obstacles. So that was relatable. Great. And Kai, same question. What? Kai? What was the question? You there? What was the question? What's uh, some of your takeaways from the book? I don't know. Did you read it? Yeah. Did you have a favorite poem from it? Uh, yeah. I like the part where it goes, leap, fall, rise, work, listen, learn. Cool. Why did you like that line? Uh, I guess because it sounded like a chant or maybe a rap. I don't know. Well, guys, remember, I want you each to choose a poem and then use that to inspire your section of your book report. So you guys can think outside the box here. It's okay to be creative. Does that mean that maybe we can make a song for our report? Or maybe we can do a rap. Yeah, you could, as long as it's inspired by the poems in the book. Oh, maybe we can make it into a music video? But remember, this is due next Friday on Zoom. Um, okay, I gotta go to the next reading group. You guys stay on and talk amongst yourselves about what you wanna do for your report, okay? Bye guys, see ya. to spend your day to, to find a nook and read a book stories will give us new ways to see and help us find who we want to be a brand new day is on its way so we will never go astray a story like a song will set us free so come along friend and read with me
work, listen, learn. Trying to make a change as the world spins and turns. We all yearn for our turns that we earn. To change the world, can't let it burn. We have concerns. Courage is a gift that can be acquired. Gotta pass it on with passion and keep the fire. I know that justice and equality is what we desire. Just know that you can make it happen if you stay inspired. If you fall. I know the sun will always come up on the other side uh, Even when you feel alone at night uh, I'll pray for you and it'll be alright uh, Gotta shine cause I know the future bright so I Gotta shine cause I know the future bright